Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my top trade tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a damaged wooden window frame like this using 3C's two part wood repair. Now, the tools and products I'm going to be using are masking tape, silicone wipes, plastic spatulas, trimming knife a scraper and a chisel and wire wool brushes for cleaning the surfaces, a small paintbrush for applying the primer and a double cartridge application gun for applying the two part at the same time. Now when we look closely at the area here that needs repairing, it's both the bead and the actual frame itself. So I've masked up around here, it's not necessary but I've chose to do that just to protect the glass a little bit more whilst I'm working around it for the first stages now to clean all this up the best I can. Using a sharp tool like a chisel, start to scrape away the wood from the damaged areas. This is generally quite easy when the wood's decayed, but you want to take it all the way down till you find good solid dry wood. Dust it off as you go. Get a wire wool brush and really scrape away and clean those areas well. So now I've removed all the loose, damaged and decayed wood and paint from there. I've given it a little sanding down and added a little bit of fresh masking tape. Now my next stage is to mix up the two-part wood repair resin primer to apply on the bare wood. Now the mixing ratio to these is one on one. So you could just mix up the two tubs all together, uh, but because I'm only doing a small amount here, I won't need the two tubs mixing. So I've got myself a little top here, pouring some in. There's one. And there's two of that. And then I'll do the same again with this one. So there's a part A and there's a part B to them. Straight into there, and straight into there. So that way, you've now got equal amount in my little tub. It's easy to apply with a small paintbrush. Cover the whole area that you've prepped that's ready to be repaired. Now, once you've applied your primer, you can leave this to dry for about 20 minutes and then mix up your two-part wood repair and start to build up your window frame. I'm going to mix these up on a plastic board, put a nozzle on each of these, load these up in here. So now our resins are going to be coming down here and start to come out the centre. And this way, we're going to have the same amount on each one. And I'm going to give these a little mix up with my scraper. So I'm going to start by filling the deeper gap between here where the frame is and as you'll see it is really really easy to apply it's like a really nice thick creamy kind of paste That's probably the best way of describing it and what I'm trying to do in there is fill that void so there is no air bubbles or pockets inside them deeper areas first down here in this back end it's quite deep. So again, pressing it right in. No cavities unfilled in there. So again, always trying to keep your tools clean with your silicone wipes whilst you're applying this. That's it for me for now. I'm going to leave this for the minimum of eight hours to dry before I can start to shape it anymore and sand it down. But I've probably spent about 10 minutes getting it to that shape where it is now. Now my wood repair compound is completely dry and it is super solid. It really, really is solid. It's stronger than what the actual wood is itself. But I'm gonna get a straight edge here. And when I place it across the top, 
you can see that I've applied my compound a lot higher. I've got this seesaw effect. So that's gonna allow me now to plane this down to get a level edge with this. And same again, when we go across here, you can see a couple of millimeters there. And same again, that end, I've got a bit of a seesaw in the middle, it's a bit higher. This edge here is a little bit smoother because I was able to uh, smooth that across like there. So this only needs a little bit of sand in there and shaping this up. Now there's various different tools you can use from little small block planes to kind of uh, wing planes like this, but they are difficult when you're doing small sash windows like this with little panels in. Ideal for the bottom of the door or the edge of a door if you're doing bigger repairs, but small detail ones like this, people tend to use uh, the trimming knife and just start to shaping it all up, or even, you know, a window scraper, which I'll use a little bit on there. However, I got from our kitchen a potato peeler. Now this is great for getting in between all of these tight edges and corners here because we wanna make this look like the same as this. So here we go. The potato peeler allows me to shave off small little slithers at a time. The key thing is, is not to take off too much. Only remove a small bit at a time and keep putting your straight edge across the top to avoid taking too much off. 3C's two-part wood repair is a flexible compound based on a modified epoxy for filling and repairing holes, cracks, gaps and wood rot. It fills the gap in the market for a wood repair resin for those who require a high quality resin repair system that is perfect for the large and small repairs, both on indoors and outdoor applications. 3C's newly improved wood repair is formulated to be the perfect mix when cured of super sturdy yet remains elastic enough to allow movement, removing the risk of perishing by shrinking, cracking or splitting. So now shaving back the proud pieces of the actual compound, I'm just going to give them a sanding down now with some sandpaper. Whenever sanding any materials, always make sure you wear a dust mask. I'm using quite a harsh P80 grit sandpaper to give it the initial sanding down. Once you've done so far, get a brush and clear the dust away so you can see where you're going. Key benefits are, it remains flexible, easy to mould, does not crack or shrink, no slumping on repairs from five to 60 millimeters deep. It's a solvent-free product that's compatible with the standard sealant gun. Once cured, it can be drilled, plain, sanded, and painted after eight hours. I'm using a small hand chisel to shape the compound into a 90 degree corner. Now I'm happy with the shape of my compound. I'm going to use an electric sander to sand down the rest of the window to smooth off the paint in preparation for painting. Another quick dusting down, then I can apply a new fresh layer of masking tape across the glass. Then I'm applying two coats of French Cheeks Chalk and Mineral Paint, leaving a couple of hours drying time between each coat. So that's how quick and easy it is to repair a damaged wooden window using 3C's two-part wood repair. And if there's something we haven't quite covered in the video, please let us know in the comments. If you're looking for more inspiration, check us out on all social media handles. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for further online videos. But if you just want to know more about the products I've been using or the vast range of products that 3C stock, 
check out their website.